Alrighty, folks, welcome to today's video on the complete retargeting ads tutorial for real estate agents in 2022. This is going to be an in-depth guide on how to create retargeting ads from scratch in the real estate space. So I want to start off the video, guys, by talking about a little bit of case studies. Uh, we've helped a lot of agents, I mean, over a thousand plus agents at this point, uh, implement online marketing strategies and help them really just take control over their marketing and take their business to the next level. People like Lisa Trombetta, Stevenson, she actually closed additional 14 deals in less than 12 months. Andrew Fleming has closed five additional deals in less than four months. Jorge did 40K GC in less than four months with $0 spent on advertising. Khalid closed 18 additional deals and put four under contract in just less than 12 months. Scott closed two deals, put four under contract in less than two months. So I'm not going to go through all of them, guys. I want to really make this a tutorial for you guys, but I just want to really give you guys a little bit of walkthrough and uh rundown of some of the people that we've helped right so you guys can go to our website as well and learn more about this but again today's videos are going to really focus on how to set this up your guys self so uh who is this for this is going to be for single real estate agents small teams and brokers uh if you guys have a marketing department as well this is for you so i know a lot of smaller teams and even teams in general uh large teams of brokers they usually have a marketing department so if you guys are watching this right now it would be really good just to take notes for everyone um, and this is really for you if you guys tried running ads yourself. You guys wasted thousands of dollars on ads that might have produced no results. Um, it's also for you if you guys are offering a low margin to the real estate business. So this is what I'm showing you guys right now is a really highly profitable strategy because it is so cheap to advertise with remarketing ads. Uh, if your cost per sale is historically increasing, this is for you. Uh, what I mean by cost per sale is like when you start getting into marketing and you start doing your numbers, everything is really down to the cost per sale. So how much does it cost you to close a deal? using any type of marketing, right? Uh, in this, we're gonna choose uh, online marketing. That's what remarketing is. But um, if you've tried lead gen companies in the past that produce your results, this is for you guys. Uh, and if you guys wanna add 300K in GCI within the next 12 months or less, then the stick around. Because uh, we've actually helped a lot of customers add in 200K, 250K, 300K GCI uh, at very, very minimal advertising budgets, like $300 a month, right? So uh, this is some good stuff in here that uh, you know we really compiled for you guys made as easy as possible. Now, some of the stuff you guys may or may not have heard before. So my job today is to really make it as easy as possible for you guys to implement right away. So what I've done here is I made an in-depth guide. Uh, you guys can actually go ahead and I'll link this guide down below in the comments. You guys can go ahead and make a copy of it and try to walk through it all. Um, and everything, like all the nitty gritty stuff, we try to map it out. So you guys can go ahead, hit the ground running and set up your own retargeting ads in 2022. So guys, uh, here's been the trend of most real estate marketing. Uh, and in marketing in general, right? So I advertise uh, with, uh, you know, my own business called generateagentleads.com. So we will market to, you know, real estate agents, teams, and brokerages. I also help a lot of agents actually do marketing as well. And what we've seen is over the past couple of years, marketing has gotten more expensive. And particularly something called the cost per 1,000 eyeballs. Uh, it's called CPM. So what this means is think of it as like a pool of fish, right? So you're advertising to a pool of fish. Um, as it gets more competitive, right, uh, it usually gets more and more expensive, right? Because a lot of time nowadays, especially after COVID and pandemic, a lot of businesses, not just real estate agents, but a lot of business in general, sort of got like an aha moment. Like, you know what? I need to actually go and advertise online. And that's what's been happening, right? So what's happening is advertising is getting more and more expensive. And the people that, you know, are starting later, it's only going to get harder and harder for them. So you need to get advertising fast. But the thing is like, the way to get a tremendous return with your uh, marketing is to create omnipresence using retargeting ads. And best of all, guys, it's cheap and expensive. In fact, uh, one of the agents that I know and work with named Kuldeep, uh, he spent $5,000 to make 300K GCI back. So that's a crazy ROI, right? So that's a function of, you know, lead generation, remarketing. And we'll talk to you guys a little bit more about the nitty gritty of what we did uh, and, you know, some uh, live examples later today. But uh, the name of the game, guys, is generate leads and build your retargeting pool. The best agents are database masters, okay? So that's the key you guys want to understand is the best agents out there, they know how to most efficiently work their database using remarketing, using inside sales. We'll talk to you guys a little bit more about that down in uh, this document. But uh, the most important thing you guys want to understand is like generating leads and building your retargeting pool is going to be the name of the game because uh, the retargeting is a cheap marketing. Like it's so cheap, right? Uh, in fact, now, if you guys want to get experience, if you guys want to experience what remarketing feels like, go to generateagentleads.com. And the next couple of times you visit Facebook, you go literally see my face and our ads every single time, right? That's what remarketing is. And it's a very effective use because um, you guys might be capturing leads. Maybe you guys are running like these list of homes ads or you guys are running, you know, foreclosure ads or anything. If you have a lead and a lead form, 
you have every right to remarket to them and you should, right? So you need to be able to remarket. But the thing is remarketing using the right strategy is important. That's what we covered today. So guys, um, a key point I want to mention here is that you want to create status delta amongst your leads, right? So this is going to be the best and most inexpensive way of doing it. And that's going to be using retargeting ads. So guys, uh, you're going to be seeing everywhere like a local celebrity, right? So like think of a, like this as like, you know, you're running, you walk by and see like, you know, bus stop ads. You're driving on like a, a key street in your in your area and you're seeing this agent just bust up ads and bust up ads. That's the whole point, right? It's the omnipresence, right? And the omnipresence is important because you're just sort of hammering in their brain. So because like, think about it, guys, like you're sort of indoctrinating yourself inside their brain. So they're always thinking about you. Some agents in my own market does really, really well. But at the same time, their return on marketing is not going to be that high as well, right? So that's one thing to consider. So your hardest return on marketing dollars in 2022 is going to come from retargeting ads, like hands down, right? Just because if you have a pool of people, uh, your ad is going to be shown more times than agents that are not running retargeting ads, right? And this is actually based on over $8 million spent on ads in the past 36 months. So uh, we've actually spent $8 million on real estate marketing, uh, marketing for software companies. Like basically we've spent a lot of money on Facebook ads, right? And Instagram ads. And remarketing is very, very important, right? And uh, what we've seen is the biggest ROI comes from the remarketing ads, right? And the way it works is like, for example, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about how this is going to really work, like the live examples. But when people see like your ad over and over again, you get stuck in their head. Now, the thing is, the game is like also like you, once you are in, the, you know, you want your remarketing to them, you want to leave a positive impact, right? Because you don't want to retarget them and they hate you, right? So you want to give them value. I'll show you guys how to do that. Uh, hopefully I'm not, you know, sort of confusing guys and all i want you guys is just to stay tuned and stick to it you guys will get all the clarity by the end of the video but uh a little bit of background on myself guys so um i went to school at the university of british columbia i studied psychology i applied psychological principles and applied them into marketing uh marketing is like my life's work that's what i do pretty much on a daily basis um uh, i've won the two comma club as you guys can see behind me it's by click funnels you guys might have heard them uh, we did a little bit over a million dollars in sales and less, less than six months using a single marketing funnel. Uh, that was one of our two comma clubs. The second one's also on the way now, guys. Uh, and we have several more, right, that uh, we're going to be getting. So that's a, a it's a big award in the marketing community if you guys don't know what it is. But uh, two comma club. Uh, I'm a co-founder of GenerateAgentLeads.com. We helped over 1,000 plus agents in the past four years. Uh, we spent over $8 million spent on advertising. So I just want to let you guys know a little bit more about this so you guys know who this guy is on the camera. But uh, I want to talk to you guys about the process. Now let's actually get into how to set up retargeting ads in 2022. So there is a five-step process. It's really simple, and we're going to break it down for you guys on today's video. So step number one is we're going to create a Facebook business page and an ad account, right? We're going to walk you guys through how to create that, everything. Then we're going to talk about the step two, which is installing a Facebook pixel to your website and your landing page. Step number three is creating custom audiences on Facebook. Step number four is creating a retargeting campaign on the ads manager within Facebook. Step number five is running the ads and tweaking for the best performance. So all of these five steps, we're going to be covering them on today's video and giving you guys live examples and proof. Because for me, I'm all about practice and preach. Like I'm only going to give you guys stuff that I know works um, because again, like my job is just to serve, right? So uh, I'm going to start off with step number one which is going to be creating a Facebook business page and ad account. So for a Facebook business page, guys, you're going to require a Facebook business page to run retargeting ads and just to run ads in general on Facebook, right? So I actually linked an article here. You guys can see it's a Facebook article. Uh, open up the link here. It's going to go ahead and show you guys exactly how to create a Facebook page if you guys don't already have one. But that Facebook page is going to be very, very important because if you think about it, right, you can't run ads without a Facebook page, right? You, they need to have a Facebook page to show your ad. Uh, because the ad is linked to the Facebook page. So as you can see here that very simple walkthrough, just follow this and you guys can create a Facebook page. But uh, a Facebook page looks like this, right? Like this is called Deep, a uh, rockstar agent that I know of. Um, it's a very simple Facebook page, but that's all you really need to do, right? So simple, post a little bit on it, right? Post some videos. Um, but uh, I would recommend that you guys uh, would uh, get the Facebook page right away because uh, this is something that is going to be a prerequisite to anything, right? So... The next thing you guys need is a Facebook ad account. And a Facebook ad account is like, basically anytime you create a Facebook page, it's gonna be linked to an ad account, right? So an ad account ID will be created by default. Now there also is an article linked here as well, how to create an ad account, but it's very simple. Like if you guys ran boosted posts or something, you guys will automatically already have an ad account there. 
But all you guys gotta do is like if you guys have a Facebook page, just click here, menu, and what this will do is pretty much populate into a menu of all the options. I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. So you guys are here, like it'll open up this, you just click add and it'll literally open up the ads manager and it'll take you there, right? So then you guys can go ahead and uh, create an ad and now we'll automatically create an ad account for you. So that's uh, the first two steps right there, right? It's very simple steps. Uh, you don't want to overthink this, just follow the directions and it'll be really easy, right? I think most of the people watching today will already have a Facebook page and ad account because everyone has a, you know, has to have a Facebook page realistically in today's society. Uh, I think about a lot of brokerages as well really talk about a Facebook page. And secondly is uh, the ad account. Uh, it's going to be very important because, you know, running ads and a lot of you guys have probably ran ads before a boosted post. You guys don't have them. But the next page is going to be a website or a landing page. Now, the most important thing to understand is that what is on that website or landing page is what matters, right? Like in the end of the day, uh, all you really need is a landing page, right? That's it. You just need a landing page. And most agents, like uh, what you guys will do, like the ones that do run like uh, advertising, they're retargeting or they work with companies, uh, you will retarget ads to an IDX website. So what basically happens, a lot of agents, right, or teams and brokerages, they work with companies that uh, have a very similar business model to Zillow. Uh, now, there's some flaws of that. I'm not going to really get into so much of today's video, but a lot of you guys will, you know, generate leads and you guys will retarget them to go see homes on your website. The problem with that is uh, thousands of other agents are using the same strategy, right? Thousands. And uh, Zillow's using the same strategy as well. So you're competing against a billion dollar company. And that's a big problem here. And the thing is like you're competing and you're competing with the fact that you're going to give them what every other agent's already providing them, which is lists of homes or homes online, right? And the thing is like homes online, anyone can find. I can just search up homes for sale and all the links in the world will appear for, hey, here's this home. Zillow will appear, realtor.com will appear, right? So um, you're going to be competing with Zillow. So the way I like to do it and the way like I teach all of our agents how to do it is to do it to a video sales letter landing page, right? And the video sales letter landing page is so important because it's going to, you know, uh, you can really uncover who you are, your past clients, your testimonies, your case studies, your expertise in the market, your unique selling proposition, your offer, your guarantees, your bonuses, the urgency, the risk reversals, your call to action, all that kind of stuff. It can be linked on the video sales letter. And, uh, Actually, link down some like you know links there as well. How to create a video sales letter, how to do that. In today's video, we're gonna cover how to do a video sales letter because I'm only gonna give you guys stuff that I know works. And if you guys can do this and run with it, you guys will actually get results. So, right? That's why I'm coming the video sales letter. So to give you guys a little bit of you know context as well, like uh, the video sales letter, I'll show you guys a lot of examples if you guys are confused. But the domain must be attached to the funnel, right? So you guys can go to GoDaddy and purchase a domain and connect it, uh, and the landing page should also have a Facebook pixel on it. We'll show you guys how to add that in later on today, right? But a simple three-step landing page is all you need. So you need a welcome page, a booking page, and a thank you page. This can be done in most CRMs. Um, some big ones are click funnels, right? Uh, go high level. I love using go high level. Very, very cost effective. And it has everything in the world that you guys need. They, they have so many features. I love go high level. Chime is good. KV Core, Sync. A lot of real estate companies and CRMs, uh, they typically will have a landing page builder in there. But it's about what you do with the landing page to manage, right? But the goal with the landing page guys is to get eyeballs on the video sales letter, which acts like your 24-7 salesperson. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, I'm going to show you guys some live examples of video sales letters that are working on landing pages. And they look very similar. So I'll start off with my own company called GenerateAgentLeads.com. This is a video sales letter. It's me walking through, you know, everything, right? It's a, it's a free training, right? Anyone that watches it will go ahead and get a price and book a call. And then, uh, you know, it will be a sort of like a buyer presentation, right? And that's exactly what uh, in the real estate space, someone like Jamil has done this right here. Uh, how to go from being clueless about the real estate market to buying your dream on 30 days or less, even if you have a low down payment or bad credit, all while adding a few hundred thousand dollars to your net worth risk free. That's a pretty captive, you know, it's a pretty exciting title. Now his video sales that are then placed, right? So he has the video sales that are hosted on here and the video sales that are then starts to play. Now, uh, he has also a button that you can book a call there. Uh, he has some more information about himself, some case studies, some testimonials. Now, same thing as well here. Uh, John Lee, uh, he's done it really well. You can see 105 people have already viewed this video. You can book a date and time here, a little bit more about him. Uh, these are super smart guys. I mean, these two guys are uh, absolute studs. I mean, uh, John had a 3.9 GPA, chemical engineering, uh, top realtor. So he's definitely uh, knows his stuff. But um, 
these are some case studies like that he's showing, right? So it's a very similar, like you can look at our company, like we have case studies, we have a lot of case studies that we've helped with agents. Uh, same thing as well here, like Jamil, some case studies there. Uh, you don't have to have all the case studies, like you don't have to have like dozens, you kind of maybe one to three. Like something that John's done is really well here, right? He talks about the state one, state two, like everything he's helped his clients do. This one as well here and Chloe. So these are pretty good case studies. Like he made them $100,000 profit in less six months with a home equity increase. So that's what a landing page can do, guys. And uh, you guys want to set up a landing page just like that. And um, like I said, you guys need a three-step landing page. So you need a video sales letter page. You need to have a calendar page. And you need to also have a thank you page, right? So that's it. So when someone comes to video sales letter page, they'll watch it. And if they really like it, they'll go ahead and book a call. And they go to calendar page. And if they uh, book a, cal a call on the calendar page, then they go to the thank you page, right? So that's how this whole process works. A very simple funnel to set up. The key to understand, guys, is just to use a simple landing page builder. Um, Click funnels is very easy to use, and Go High Level is very easy to use. In fact, uh, Go High Level has like, identical Click funnels. Like they pretty much have a carbon copy Click funnels, and it's much more cost effective. Uh, you just want to set up a very simple landing page, right? So in this case, it would just like you know uh, a headline, a video, and then a call to action, right? So that's like the landing page. Now. Uh, I'm not going to get too much into the whole landing page and, you know, creating that because a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of you guys may already have a landing page builder. At the end of the day, you just want to have a landing page, right? Uh, and again, this, this is really so more so to explain how to set up retargeting ads in particular. Uh, like a lot of agents, right? You guys might be watching this right now. You guys might not even drive it to a video sales letter page. However, I'm just a big, big proponent of video sales letter pages because, uh, I've built a lot of businesses and I've a lot of agents use video sales letters and that's why I like to go with the video sales letter, right? But uh, once you get the landing page up, guys, the most important thing to understand is like set up the domain, right? Uh, typically, you just want to have a generic domain. You don't have to overthink it too much. Uh, so set up the domain and you want to have the Facebook pixel installed. I'll show you guys exactly how to do that in the next step, but this is where the pixel is. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this on go high level because go high level is like uh, some software that I'm using and I'm using for, you know, uh, like this particular agent right here. So I'll show you guys the example of how to do this. But uh, when you go back to the uh, you know presentation here, uh, we talk about Facebook pixel, right? Um, Facebook pixel, you don't want to overcomplicate it. Just think of it as like a line and you're going to copy paste that line. And you're going to paste it somewhere and it's going to do all the heavy lifting for you. That's it, right? So Facebook has made it very, very easy for anyone to run ads. So if you like, I, all I want you guys to do is one thing, just repeat yourself and remove that belief out of your head. If that I need to have someone this for me, because it's not that hard guys, you know, Facebook as a company, they're not trying to make it harder for people to run ads on their platform. Right? So that's why I'm showing you guys how to do this because it's not that difficult. It really isn't just follow along from this step onwards and that's it. Pause the video if you need to. Right? But what is a Facebook pixel? Guys, so the Facebook pixel is a piece of code that you put on your website that allows you to measure the effectiveness of your advertising because all it basically does in a nutshell, guys, it, it just tracks and it just sort of puts like a little, you know, like, like a little dart. You think about you're playing darts. He puts a little dart on each person that visits your website and each that dart stays on them, right? Instead of falling off, it just sticks to them, right? And that dart is going to be following them around. And now what happens is over a certain number of time, you're going to have all these darts. And basically, you can spend like a, a like a dollar a day and target a thousand people. It's really cheap, right? And just hammer them with ads over and over again. And that's what retargeting is. And like I said, if you guys want to see what retargeting is, go to generateagentleads.com and you'll see your ad every single day, right? That's what retargeting is, right? And I love retargeting ads. But like the most important thing is, guys, like the benefit of a Facebook pixel is that it's going to show your ads to the right people, right? The pixel could be used to retarget people that have visited your website. Uh, I can measure the results of your ads. You can actually measure the performance of your ads using pixels. But uh, the Facebook pixel, guys, it's going to be important because when you're running ads, you, you're you going to generate leads. So let's say we're talking about lead form ads, right, and all that kind of stuff, like list of homes ads or, you know, home buyers ads or like, you know, uh, we're talking about distressed home buyers ads. Uh, those are all leads, right? And those leads have showed some form of interest about buying a home down the road or maybe right now, whatever it is, right? But we need to have them to keep on showing ads in front of them, you know, day over day over day, right? And we can do that with the Facebook pixel. So let's talk about this, right? All you guys need to do is just follow along, right? If you guys don't understand what I'm talking about, just follow along the video, just copy paste everything I've been doing and you guys should get this set up. So like I said, up until this point, guys, we should have had the Facebook business page, 
We should have the Facebook ad account. We should have the website and landing page set up, right? I talked a little bit about the landing page, how to set that up. The three-step landing page, I have a welcome page, I have a booking page, I have a thank you page, right? And then you should have, you know, we're at the Facebook pixel. So what we're basically going to do is we're going to get that Facebook pixel. We're going to create it and we're going to go ahead and put it on your landing page. That's it. Now, there's some steps, right? So one thing that might happen is you might not even have a Facebook pixel, right? Which is understandable. It's totally fine. I'm going to show you guys how to make that. So remember how I told you guys how to make an ad account, right? On Facebook, something like this, this is called an ad account, right? Now each ad account has the ability to have pixels, right? So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I do this. Let's just say we go to and, you know, like your ad account, this is what ad account looks like, right? So we go here, we go to ads manager, right? So this is an ad account and we want to take this ad account. We want to make a pixel off of it. So how do you do that? This is an ad account we have. Uh, you want to go click on these all tools and you want to go all the way to events manager. Once you guys are on events manager, you're going to see something like this. It's just, you know, pretty confusing. There's nothing there. All you got to do is simply go to this green dot connect data sources and you want to go ahead and write web. Okay. Hit connect. Just write Facebook pixel. Hit connect. Now hit continue. It's going to ask you for a name, right? Now you can just call it, for example, I'm going to call it test pixel today. Just call it, just call it your name pixel, right? It's text pixel. And it says, check your website for easy setup options. All you got to do guys is, you know how we told you guys to set up a landing page earlier on today and have a domain, right? Just copy paste that domain and put it there, right? Now I've already done this on another ad account, but just hit next and you guys should have a pixel, right? So. That's going to be the first step. So that's how you create a Facebook pixel, right? So if you guys don't have a Facebook pixel, you guys can go ahead and create that right now. And um, just hit continue, right? So just to recap how to do that, we go to our ads manager, right? The, the event manager right here. So it's the ads manager, ad account, right? We're on our Facebook ad account. You click all tools, click events manager, and you want to go to that green connect data sources. It pulls up this, click web, click continue and click Facebook pixel and click connect, right? Don't worry about this. Click continue in a name, whatever name you guys want to do and add in the website, right? And the website you guys want to do is just the one that you guys use in the landing page, right? Cause you guys need a landing page sets up. As we mentioned in our, in our video today, you guys will need a landing page, right? And the landing page has to have a domain attached, right? And it's very simple to use to connect domains nowadays. Um, I'm not going to really get into that today's training, right? You guys is always YouTube, how to connect the domain to a website. It's a, like about five minute tutorial, right? But guys, uh, the next thing is like, let's just say you already have a pixel or now you guys have created a pixel. How do you guys actually add an installing? Uh, how do you install an existing pixel to your website? It's very easy to do this. So once we are in the events manager, right now, let's just say you have a pixel. It's going to look like this. It's going to look like you're going to have these pixels here, right? And this is like, uh, you know, Jamil's pixel, right? For example, right? So now you want to add this pixel and you want to add it to a landing page. And the landing page we're talking about is this one, right? Now we're talking about go high level in this. Click funnels is very similar. You can go to the settings of the landing page and something called head tracking code. Just remember that, right? We're going to paste this pixel code in the head tracking code, right? So in Facebook ad manager or in your ad account, right? Like what we see here, right? And remember to get to this page, right? And this is assuming we've already made the Facebook pixel, right? Like if you guys rewind a couple of minutes here, I showed you guys how to make a Facebook pixel, but let's just say we have made the Facebook pixel, right? It's going to show up like this. You want to go ahead and hit manage integrations and you want to go ahead and uh, connect this to your landing page. So the way you do that guys is, so I'm going to walk you through step by step, right? Click the data source icon on the left pages, right? Click select the pixel you guys want to set up. So uh, the, this is the data sources, right? Data sources. Click the pixel you guys want to set up. Okay, that's fine. And you want to go ahead and continue pixel setup, right? And you want to go ahead and hit select Facebook pixel and click connect. And you want to select the install code manually. And you want to copy the pixel base code and find it on the website and paste it. So I'll show you guys how to do this in simple terms. So you guys are here, you want to go ahead and hit manage integrations, hit manage and hit add to another website. 
or add to a website. This, we've already done so many websites, just add to a website and hit install code manually, right? Hit copy code here, okay? And you wanna go to your website and you just wanna paste it here, right? So just hit paste and that's it. And hit save on your landing page builder, okay? Now that is done and that's it. So once you guys are done this, um, you guys can go ahead and uh, you know move on to the next step, right? So we've already gone ahead and uh, hit continue here, right? Like I said, uh, you don't wanna do anything here, walk through this, right? We go to pixel overview and that's it. So we added a website there, right? Now we've already done this, but that was uh, the whole process. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and just show you guys one more time because I don't want any of you guys to be confused on this. To set up a pixel, once you guys already have a pixel set up, you guys wanna go to the ad account events manager, you go here, Add account events manager, okay? And you guys wanna go ahead and go to the pixel you guys are choosing, hit the manage integrations part, and you guys see browser pixel. Go ahead and hit add to another website or add to a website. It just says another on my end because I've already done it, but here, install code manually. Copy this code, paste it to the website, right there in the head tracking code, only the head tracking code, right? Don't worry about this body tracking code stuff head tracking code, okay? You want So hit continue all the way through, right? Don't worry about anything else. So you can see here, like there's nothing else, right? Just hit keep on hitting continue, right? So hit continue, continue, continue. Go to pixel review, that's it. Now let's add it in. So now guys, we are on to the next step. Next step is to set up Facebook custom audiences. So uh, Facebook custom audiences is gonna be the, like the next step in the whole process of getting everything together, getting your retargeting ads running. Um, to break it down of what it is, uh, basically we're gonna be retargeting and creating an audience off of three things, right? And the audience is what we're gonna show ads to primarily, right? So one of the audiences we're gonna use is the previous lead database. Now you may or may not have this, but I'll show you guys how to do this. Now if you don't have this, it's not, not like the world's gonna end, this doesn't mean anything, right? You might not have a previous database of leads, right? Like maybe you've ran Facebook lead ads in the past or you used another company in the past and you have this big, pool of leads, maybe your broker provided them to you, whatever it is, or, you know, you have this a general uh, pool of leads, right? Now the names aren't required, right? Uh, it typically depends on if the person came from Facebook ad, like a lot of us, you know, have ran Facebook ads in the past, you get the name and the email and the phone number, right? Um, just put them on a spreadsheet on an Excel sheet. Uh, and we want to go ahead and we want to have that previously database. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. So this is a database. Now, of course, I, you know, remove a lot of sensitive information here just because this is a actual database of someone. But the last name, the first name, you know, you got their phone number, you got their email. That's what you typically will need in terms of your database, right? So this is going to be uploaded and we'll make a custom audience off this. So there's like a lot of people here. Uh, there's like things like a thousand people uh, in the database. And we're just gonna be, you know, exporting it into a Google Sheets like this or a spreadsheet. Uh, number one thing I want to have it: the first name, last name doesn't really matter though. Uh, like the name doesn't matter, right? The most important thing you want to understand is like it's gonna have their phone number, email, right? So have a list. And face even if it's blanks in there and stuff, Facebook will try still picking it up, right? But that is how you do uh, get the, you know, the spreadsheet. It should be positioned like this. The next thing is the Facebook lead formats, right? So this is gonna be your new lead form opened. Now they're always ninety days. Uh, let's just say you ran Facebook lead formats, right? Maybe you ran like a lead generation ad on Facebook for a list of homes, right? Or, you know, like I said earlier in the presentation, like a distressed home list or foreclosure home list, whatever it is, right? These are lead formats, right? And you can retarget the people that actually, you know, uh, clicked or submitted a lead form or it opens, right? So we're gonna make an audience based off of that as well. Now this data is already on Facebook, so it's already gonna be tracked inside. This is for those folks that have already run ads in the past, right? So these two right here are more so for the people that have a big database of leads already and they're already running ads or, you know, Facebook lead form ads are gonna be for those folks that are already, you know, running ads or have ran ads on the past in their lead, uh, in their ad manager, right? Now the thing is guys, um, if you guys don't have leads, you guys don't have a database, or you guys don't have you know, leads in, uh, in your ads manager, I highly recommend learning how to do that and running ads because that's, you, you can have a certain pool of people to retarget off of, typically about a couple hundred. So 300 people or more on average of leads. It can actually work at a smaller amount as well, like 100, but you wanna have uh, a lead database of some sort, right? So uh, that's gonna be very, very important for you guys to understand before we can actually start retargeting, right? So the next thing is the website or the landing page visitors. 
Uh, this is going to be something I'll show you guys how to set up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to the events for the audience on Facebook. And we're going to show you guys how to go ahead and set up these audiences. So I'm going to go all the way to our Facebook ad manager again. And I'm going to go ahead and go to all tools. And we're going to go to audiences. Now we're on the audiences page. So the first audience we're going to go ahead and create is going to be the previous lead database, right? So now we're on our, like we're here on this page. We're going to go to create audience. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a custom audience. And a custom audience is going to be based off a customer list, right? It's called a customer list, but it's basically a spreadsheet of people you already have, right? So we're gonna go ahead and hit create. And now we are here, right? So all you wanna do is just go ahead and create next here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, just hit no, hit next. Now we're gonna create this audience. Just create it like, a, you know, let's call it uh, previous lead database. And it's more to name it so you guys can actually, when we build the ad later on, you guys are gonna be able to find it, right? So this is where you gotta go ahead and upload a file, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and upload a file that I had here. I'm gonna go ahead and next. So you got like these emails. So it reads the emails, that's fine. Get hit import and create, right? So I'm gonna hit import and create. Uh, it says there's still two on map identifiers in your field. So sometimes that happens, right? So we got here, email, this is fine, right? And it says action needed. So this asking you what are these things? So these are, you know, names, go ahead and uh, it'll ask you for first name. These are the phone numbers. I'm gonna go ahead and hit phone numbers, right? So it says, error code your data isn't formatted correctly you don't have to worry too much about it hit import and create anyways it's going to start uploading it right and it's right done so that's an audience that was created for based on the old lead databases right and that's typically like like i said the old lead database is something that you know maybe you have like a whole spreadsheet of people you have in the past uh it usually works really well if you have a lot of people uh like you know 50 100 250 300 500 a thousand works really good uh, but you want to upload that in there and Facebook will, what Facebook basically does is it gets emails and phone numbers and it tries to cross match them to people that are already on Facebook. That's what it is. Right? So that's what the Facebook, uh, you know, the, this, uh, the Facebook lead database will do. The next thing is going to be your Facebook lead form ads, right? Now the, the new lead form opens, right? The 90 days, uh, that's what we're going to be setting up. So anyone's opened up any lead form, even if they don't submit it. Uh, we're going to be retargeting them, right? So if we go back to our audiences, we're going to go ahead and create a new one. I'm going to go to this custom audience and we're going to go ahead lead form, right? So now we go to lead form audience and we open and we're going to have a go ahead and uh, search up our page here, right? Because you want to start a page because the page is, you know, what we run the ads on and the lead form is then associated with the page, right? So I'm going to, you could choose all your pages. I just recommend choosing all of them or all of your lead forms, right? And now it's only going to target the ones of the leads that came in 90 days ago. Like in the past 90 days, I mean, like you can't even do more, right? Uh, it has to be 90 days. So only we target leads that were generated in the last 90 days, right? Now, audience name, and I just like to do anyone open the form, right? That's what I like to do. Just call it lead form opens. Okay, I'm gonna hit create audience. Now I've already done these things in the past. But I'm just showing you guys live. You're gonna do this because I wanna go you guys the exact same strategy I already used, right? So now we've done two audiences, the Facebook, lead form opens and the leads that are new okay the last one we're going to go ahead and set up is going to be the website or the landing page visitors now before i get into that guys i want to talk about this optional because you guys are probably like okay we skipped this um this is a little bit more of a i don't want to confuse you guys but using something called zapier or even go high level right so go high level is like this you can actually go high level has something where you can literally connect you can replace zapier if you guys know what Zapier is, uh, you guys can you know, continue to watch this. Uh, basically, it's an integration thing, right? So in a nutshell, how does a Facebook lead go to your CRM? You got to use something like Zapier, right? Or Go High Level has their own built-in Zapier, which is easy, right? But basically what this means is like if a new lead form comes in and you have a custom integration that automatically ports them over into your custom audience. So this is what, like the lead, the previous lead database Right, it's gonna like that's like a custom audience. Like when we set this up, it's gonna automatically get all the leads and it's gonna zap them over into the custom audience. So it's gonna dynamically populate. This is where I did I wrote optional because I didn't want to geek you guys out on this, right? You guys don't have to do this. 
right? Like this is a more advanced strategy and I want to confuse you guys. You can set up the basic retargeting and they'll still do fine. Uh, I've had customers that have set it up without these op without the optional and they've done just fine and they've closed a lot of deals, right? But the next thing is going to be the, uh, the website or landing page visitors, right? So how does this work? We're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the audiences again and we're going to create one last one. And we're going to create custom audience and we're going to go, oopsies. And we're going to go to the website. So I'm going to go ahead and create next here. And it's going to go like this. So remember how in the beginning of today's training, I showed you guys, you know, like that pixel. And we're going to put the head tracking code on this website. That's pretty much all we're doing here, right? So that we choose that pixel and we choose the pixel that we have. Uh, drag down. In this case, you should probably usually, if you're just starting out, you probably only have one pixel. That's all you really need. Uh, just hit all website visitors and just do 180 days. In fact, you can't even go more than 180 days. That's why we did 180 days. But let's see, you did 200 days. It has to be 180 days. So this means that anyone that visited that website in the past six months is going to get this retargeting ad. That's how it works. So let's just say you guys want to send out uh, a, a strategy that I, we tell a lot of you know our agents is that, hey, email your database to come and say, hey, free training. And we drive those people to come to this website and they all get retargeted. Like the pixel just like says, Bing, bing, bing. It just like target, it tags all of them. And now all of a sudden they're seeing your ads too, right? That's like the omnipresence. So uh, hopefully it didn't confuse you guys there, but in the end of the day, just set this up the way it is. Use your pixel, all website visitors, 180 days, and just call it website visit, okay? Hit create audience. That's going to do the same thing. Now I've already created three audiences. One's called the website visitors, the open lead form, and the inbound leads. Let me describe them again, what we just did guys here. We have made custom Facebook audiences, right? Using the audience on Facebook, the audience creator, right? And we made one based on the previously database. We've made one on the Facebook lead form ads, right? If you've ran lead form ads in the past, which you should always be running, to be honest, because you always need to be marketing and the website or landing page visitors, right? So this is going to be basically completely. The last one is completely based on that pixel that we set up earlier on today, uh, video, or maybe you already have a pixel, like I said, and it's going to be posted on the head cracking code of your landing page, right? So I know for a lot of you guys, a lot of new stuff. So you guys might have to watch this video over and over again, but the next step is going to be creating the actual ad. So now before we create the ads, I want to go a recap what we've actually done so far. We have made a, we already have a Facebook business page. We have an ad account, right? Or if you didn't have one, you already should have created one. We made a website or landing page that looks like this, right? Landing page with a video, with a headline, you apply for this, right? There's case studies on there and they can go ahead and they can book a call on a calendar page on the calendar page. They can book a call if they do book a call, right? Like for example, right here, here, I, you know, I write, I'm gonna write test here, test at test.com and I'm gonna write the, the phone number. All right. Click the schedule. And then once you schedule, it says, thank you. It goes to thank you page like this. And then, uh, if you guys set it up correctly, you guys should actually have a notification system just like this. It says, Hey, new appointment that was booked. Right? So, uh, that's like the landing page setup, right? You guys want to have a landing page set up like that. You have to have a welcome page, a booking page and a thank you page. Again, the landing page is very, very important. Now, like I said, I like to do my landing pages with a video sales letter. Um, and this is like, these are all video sales that are landing pages, right? Like if I go back here, this is a landing page. This is a video sales that are landing page, right? It's for Jamil and he has a video of himself, right? Um, and he's like an hour long training here. And it's a very, very, very yeah. useful landing page, right? Like when someone comes here and they watch this, they're going to get a lot of value. Okay. Now, same thing here as well. Like John, he's done it, right? He's actually running it right now. 105 views, right? And uh, a lot of people have watched this video, right? And a lot of people actually, some people actually booked in and said, Hey, that was the best video I ever watched. You know, I want to work with you. Uh, no other agent is doing this in your area, right? Like that's why I like to do this, uh, this stuff because, um, I have a whole, I have a whole two hour long video as to why you should use video sales letters, but I'm not going to get into that today, right? So he has this very similar landing page, right? The more simple the landing page, the better. Don't worry about how it looks. It's more about the utility of the landing page. Like if someone comes here, they don't really care about how ugly or good the landing page is. Like as long as it doesn't like horrible, as long as I have like, you know, purple letters and like rainbow weird stuff on there right it has to be basic like this uh i think john set this up in like six or ten minutes like around that time frame i remember him setting it up in front of me uh very very easy to set up right 
So that's what you can do nowadays. You can set up these websites and like landing pages within minutes, right? Because everything is getting so easy online. Uh, but you gotta have the landing page. You also wanna have the Facebook pixel. We showed you guys exactly what a Facebook pixel is, the benefit of it. If you don't have a Facebook pixel, how to create it. We talked to you guys about how to install that on your website. We actually went ahead and installed it on the head tracking code for you guys exactly. Uh, showing you guys live examples. We also set up the Facebook custom audiences, the lead databases. If you guys already have a lead database, we also set up a lead form ad audience that we uh, showed you guys how to set up manually. Like I want to do step by step. I also go ahead and show you guys how to use that pixel that we put on the website and go ahead and create a landing page visitor to the website. So now we're going to go ahead and create the ads. All right, this is going to be the fun part because that was all the prerequisites. We did that. Now we're going to create the ad. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that step by step. All right, so once we are on our, you know, the stage of creating the ads, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to the ads manager, right? And I'm gonna just go ahead and create a new tab. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this all from scratch. So essentially guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna create an ad, right? So we're gonna go ahead and create. And it's gonna show up like this. Let's create a new campaign. We're gonna call it traffic, okay? And we're gonna name that campaign, let's call it traffic. I'm gonna call it test, right? I'm gonna call it, let's call it traffic here as well. This is the ad set. This is where the targeting happens. And then the ad is where, like we actually write the ad, right? So uh, this is gonna be uh, the last step here. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go here, right? So we got something called the traffic test, right? So now we gotta go to categories. I'm gonna go ahead and hit special ads or housing. And the reason why I want to do this is because Facebook has a rule nowadays, you have to always run ads for housing related stuff in these special ads. Now this doesn't scare you because Facebook is trying to, you know, they're incentivized to make it the best. So uh, they've done they've done a pretty decent job. I haven't seen too much change. Um, in fact, you know, we, we spend millions of dollars on Facebook ads and um, they're always trying hard to sort of make this uh, work, right? Because uh, I know real estate is a big spending category for Facebook, right? And Zuckerberg, uh, definitely wants to make sure he earns his dollars. So he's making it easy. Sp right special ads category, right? Now, this I'm going to walk you guys through like how I would be setting this up, right? So along the way. So this will be special ads category here. And then the campaign objective should be traffic, right? Just write traffic for this case. I know it says conversion ad if you're advanced, but we'll keep it simple with traffic, right? Uh, and A-B test, none of that stuff needs to be required. So you see I'm here, like I'm trying to set up this ad, right? Uh, this stuff, don't touch it. You don't have to worry about it. You go ahead and hit traffic here. Now you guys are here, okay? The one thing I like to do is I like to run dynamic creative ads. And the thing is, it's because Facebook has made it really easy to test. It's gonna make, it's just gonna find the best ad for you, right? So all you gotta just do like, get like all the stuff and just throw it at Facebook and they'll test for you, right? Throw the ad copies, which I'm sure you guys on today's training, throw the pictures, throw the videos, and they'll test out all the stuff by themselves. Their algorithms will do all the hard work and they'll just run the best ad. That's how easy they literally made it nowadays, right? So I always have to like, like to write uh, dynamic creative, hit continue, right? And we're just gonna be following along, like we're following around this thing, right? Now, dynamic creative, right? So budget, I like to use five bucks a day because it's really nothing. It's like a, the price of a coffee. Like this coffee right here is like four bucks, right? Uh, some coffee in Canada is pretty expensive, but uh, five, uh, five bucks a day. Right, so that's what I like to spend uh, on uh, retargeting ads, and uh, you can even spend a dollar a day, right? Like as I use the rule, is a dollar per thousand people. In this case, we're gonna spend five bucks a day. So just go here. All right, so go to the start date. It'll start whenever you're ready, right? And what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're uh, we're gonna go to the audience part, right? So I'm gonna actually bring this all the way over so you guys can have an easy walkthrough. So now it says custom audiences here, right? For the custom audiences, remember how we made those custom audiences earlier, right? We made these custom audiences, we made the previous lead database, the Facebook lead format, and the website or landing page visitors, right? So we made those custom audiences. So what we're gonna be doing, guys, is we're gonna be uploading those custom audiences. We're gonna just, it's already made, right? Because we made them in the audiences section. We're gonna be searching them up, right? So I made them called Generate Agent Leads Website Visitors. It's the first one. Then they're going to do the open lead form and they call the inbound leads. That's it. So those are custom audiences we're going to go ahead and use to target. So once we upload these uh, custom audiences, we're going to go ahead and uh, 
you can see that the next step after uploading all these is going to be the exclude step. You com completely skip it, right? You don't have to worry about the exclude step, okay? Now, the location is next, okay? So, what we're going to do for the location is really just use the own city, right? So, drop a pin in your city, right? Uh, I like to just do 30 miles just to keep it, you know, because it's a retargeting audience, right? Um, ages, like, you can't really change the age. You can't really change the gender, uh, since it's a retargeting ad as well, you don't have to need any targeting or any stuff. It's like super simple. Don't touch the age. Don't touch the gender. Just touch the area. You can even do a country as well. It doesn't even matter. But like uh, this particular ad is from Calgary, Canada. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to search up Calgary. Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Right? And I just like to do 30 miles. So that way I get everyone in the area. Okay? It's because uh, typically, you know, 30 miles out, people want to move into Calgary, right? Like you see like it's like rural areas at that point. So 30 miles, you can even do like 50 miles, but 30 miles, I like to do that, right? So once that is done, guys, now we go back to our guide here. Placements. I like just do pl automatic placements. And a lot of people would argue that, hey, you want to do news feed placements and manual. Just do automatic. I've always had good success with automatic because Facebook's pretty smart nowadays. They spend billions of dollars testing this out, and I think they got it pretty good at the placement stuff, right? So just use automatic. It makes your job easier as well. Now, aside from that, now this is the ad set level. The middle, the middle is the ad set, right? So now we're gonna go to the actual ad level, and we're gonna set that up. This is the ad level, right? So now, as we go back to our guide here, now we're the ad, okay? So it's gonna say identity. You gotta choose your Facebook page, and if you have an Instagram account. Right, go ahead and click that. And now you're gonna just hit single image or video, right? Um, we're gonna keep it very simple. We're not gonna do the carousel stuff in this, but it's gonna be single image or video, right? So when we go back here, right? We see a picture or video. Now, a picture's sole purpose is to get someone to look at your ad. So th with the ad, right, guys? Like the picture and the ad, like just so people stop and look at the ad and read it. That's all it is, right? Um, because the real, the real ad right the real marketing is going to be the video sales that are we're driving them to right this is just to get attention right um so typically like you can use a lot of pictures right facebook is distraction marketing so your pictures must stand out right so a bright blue sky of a home you can even use a home picture right uh you can use a picture of yourself um well i'll show you what i like to do in my picture in my ad images and this is based on someone that like i've spent millions of dollars on ads and i can know that these images work um, so like, for example, right in this case, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to just choose a bunch of images that I've uploaded to this ad account, right? So it's just loading up here. So just bear with me here. So, uh, one thing I like to do is I like under Canva here, right? And I made something like this. So Calgary VIP home buyer program. I just added a very beautiful picture of a home because it's desirable with big red font and a screenshot of this. And I'm going to upload that as the first picture. The second picture that I'm going to do is, uh, actually a screenshot of the video sales letter, right? So I'll show you why I do this because I'm actually running this for my own company right now. And I'd like to give you guys what like uh, practice what I preach, right? So basically in what I did is uh, I went to the video sales editor and just screenshot of this slide, right? That's right. Like a screen right here and screenshot of this, just like this, right? Cause it does catch the attention, right? So it's like someone presenting, right? So I took that image, right? So that's another image. And uh, another image that uh, I will typically use is something of the actual, you know, you want to use yourself, right? So, like, this is a great picture of, you know, like uh, an agent, right? So, use an image of yourself, right? I show you that you're a real, a real person. So, we'll go ahead and hit continue. You can add as many images as you guys want, to be honest. Uh, I like to just add, you know, three, three or four images is pretty good. And the other thing I like to do is I like to add in a video, right? So, the video is the actual video sales letter. I literally will add, like, this hour-long video sales letter, and I will use that. Because sometimes people don't want, want to visit the landing page, they'll just see it in your own land, in, in the Facebook news feed or Instagram, right? Like they'll literally see the ad there and they'll play it and they'll share it with their friends. That's another way to go viral in your ads, right? Like I'll show you guys what we actually do in our own company here on Facebook ad library. So I'm a Facebook marketer itself. Like I use lead form ads and I do retargeting. Like it's the same stuff I showed you guys today. Now you guys can see, right? Like we have multiple versions of this ad, right? Like we run many, many different versions, but one, we have a two hour long All video, right, like a two hour long video sales that are playing there, right? Another thing is I have a screenshot of myself in that video sales that I just thought I showed you guys that I do. And then I have some other creatives that they're not showing up for some reason on Facebook, but 
Uh, this is what I do, right? I like to have like a big red font. I like to have a screenshot of the video sales letter. I like to just have an agent picture, right? Make it really neutral. Uh, I like to also have the whole video, like the whole two hour long video or hour long video sales letter, right? And uh, that's what I like to do for the images or the, you know, the, the, the video, right? So just throw them in there, three or four or five images and Facebook will automatically test them. Next step is going to be your actual ad copy. So this is where a lot of agents can go wrong. Like they don't know how to write ad copy. I made it really easy for you guys and just giving you guys ad copy that you spent millions of dollars on and I know it works, right? In fact, if you guys look at my own company's ads, they follow a very, very similar process here, right? And you guys can read them. Um, so I'll show you guys the ad copies that I'm going to give you guys just for free for watching this video. So you guys got the primary text of the ad copy. So the attention city home buyers, right? If you're waiting until whole prices are going down, you guys can go ahead and read this and pause it. This is a basic framework, right? I'm going to give you guys three ad copies that you guys can throw into the dynamic and it'll automatically test it for you. Right. So I've already done this as well and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit copy and I just like to add primary text. So I had the first one there done. Right. And I add another option and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add the, the next ad copy here. Of course you gotta change this, right? Next ad copy is gonna be right there. Okay. Now, of course you want to just hit delete there and add, you know, minimize the space. Um, let me try to make it one space there, right? And add one more ad copy here. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to add in this ad copy. Double check. So, yeah, I'm going to add this one. This is the one I forgot to do. Okay. So, I'm going to add this one here. I'm going to add another option. And I'm going to hit it right there. So, those are the three ad copies we added, right? So, now it's a city, right? Now, of course, I'm going to change it to the city. Uh, this particular agent is from Calgary, right? It's going to click copy there and change up this right here and the background, right? So this is where you really want to flock your feathers and, you know, both like, uh, that's as it might sound like a uh, come across the wrong way, but you guys want to really flex your muscles here, right? Make your seem like, uh, make your seem self like a boss, right? Like you want to really, people want to look at that and be like, okay, this person knows their stuff, right? So here all right and a um, couple things that we haven't changed yet i'll show you guys the last couple stuff all right so now guys uh we have something that's left over called client one client two so like let's just say like you had you know like like something that john does really well in his is he tells his case studies so well right he says like the the state one state two and he talks also about you know the um the person right like what they are like what the result they did so like this sam like he worked with john as the agent and he got one hundred fifty thousand dollars above asking price in seven days it's a pretty big claim right same thing here with jennifer she made one hundred fifty thousand dollars profit in less than 18 months and with chloe she made hundred hundred thousand dollars profit in less than six months so he's actually really advertising that as well so all we're really going to do here is we're going to go back and it's like great you know sam Chloe and Jennifer. Okay. And I'm just going to be really adding them into all the track records here. So once you guys all the ad copies done, we want to go ahead and add in the headlines as well. So if you guys go back to this document, uh, we're going to go to uh, the headlines and the headlines are already pretty much done for you guys as well. So I'll show you guys how to do that. So just get copy paste this. Don't copy paste the one or two in there. I'm going to go back and copy the headlines. So um, I'm going to go ahead and write Calgary. And we're going to go ahead and Calgary again. All right. So I'm going to do the last two headlines here. And as I mentioned, guys, like I'm only going to give you guys stuff that uh, I've already practiced and preached. I'm already using it right now. So uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys live examples of this working. Um, but basically, Calgary right here. And then another one that I'm going to go ahead and show you guys, uh, give you guys right now. This one, right? So uh, add another option. And I'm going to go ahead and hit it, this. And it's going to go to Calgary, right? So if you guys go to our own ads as well for generatingleads.com, like we've spent millions of dollars on these ads, right? So these are been tested and tested after hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars of testing. And then, you know, on, on average, like on total, we spent over like several million dollars in ads just for our own company. Uh, it says, is it possible, right? So is, is, if this stuff works, like we've been testing this stuff, 
Uh, so that's why I'm giving you guys stuff that works, right? Stuff that's been tested and tested and tested. So these headlines, just gonna put them in and plug them into your ads manager, right? <clears throat> and then going back, you don't have to worry about the description, right? Now the website URL, what is gonna be the website URL, right? So it's gonna be the landing page that we set up. So in this case, the landing page that we have, if we go back to steps here, it's gonna be this one, right? So I'm gonna put it to this landing page, put the VSL link there, all right? And uh, the next step in, as we go down this, as you guys can see, the ads are already starting to populate. I'll show you guys a preview. I'll give you guys a preview at the end. But the call to action is always going to be learn more. Right? So you guys can see here that uh, it has to be learned more. And then tracking, you guys go back to tracking, uh, it's going to be website events, right? So website events, uh, it's always going to have to be better turned on. For the most part, it should be turned on, but make sure that's checked off. Make sure your pixel is there. And that is it, guys. So that's how the ad works. So now, of course, I want to show you guys how you know, the variations look of this ad. Uh, so view more variations, right? You guys can see there's a lot of different variations, right? So like you guys can see here, like this is what the ad looks just with one image, right? Now, there are actually other images as well that we use, right? But on Facebook ads, they'll see this, this kind of ad that's popping up. VIP home buying program. Look at this free training. Look at this free training. Go watch it. They click on this, learn more. And then they go all the way to this page right here um and they want the training right now they're going to keep us seeing this ad over and over again like almost every single day they're like hey watch this training so they might come on this so they might come on this landing page they might watch like 30 minutes of it and they stop and they come back again and they pick up where they left off or they might watch the first 10 minutes like oh this guy is you know this guy definitely knows what he's talking about or they might watch the whole thing and go ahead and book a call with you right so not all of them will book like don't play the game just to have everyone book a call with you because you need to you cannot discount calling up leads texting your leads emailing leads I actually talk about the exact follow-up process in my other youtube videos but you can't discount that but this would be a nice supplement it'll be like everything just like you know it's like um it'll wrap everything together in a nice christmas present and uh you'll have a lot of leads that you call like hey yeah i actually saw your i saw your ad the other day i saw the i saw the training it looks like good right? it looks good stuff so you already build rapport with them that's what this is supposed to do the the book it's, it's a bonus that they book in with you right but don't worry so much about the bonus um because i find that like uh we've had a lot of agents that use this and like sometimes they don't, don't get that many bookings but just the fact that you just the video sales that are just showing up every single day they're getting retargeted it does help a lot right so that was one of the you know creatives that we showed right there's a lot of other you know the, all the other images that we use there's a lot of other uh ones right so if i hit refresh as well uh this is the one that we had right so sometimes it'll show you guys like you know one with this picture show you guys the video right um so i'm just gonna go ahead like share a link right um uh, i guess you can see i'm just trying to show you guys a preview of all the different type of ads but uh basically you know, uh, sometimes this ad might show up as the video. Sometimes it might show up as a picture of the agent. Sometimes it might show up as a picture of the actual image I showed you guys earlier on. But in the end of the day, guys, like Facebook will do all the testing for you, right? But if you guys see this kind of ad in your newsfeed and you're seeing it every single day, you're bound to click on it. And you're going to go to this landing page and you're going to see the training. And if you would like, you're going to book it and call. So this is what a lot of agents are missing out on. And all you got to do, like the last moment, guys, I forgot to mention is um, <clears throat> you guys want to go ahead and hit, just hit publish, right? And that is it. So we're going to publish this ad. Now I'm not going to go ahead and do this just because it's a training example. But this ad is going to go live for five bucks a day, right? Five bucks a day to literally just have like one of the best, most profitable advertising strategies ever. Now, guys, I want to go ahead and answer some questions for you guys uh, because I know there's a lot of questions. You guys can always ask them in the comments down below if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, but how do you guys know if it's working? Right? How do you guys know if your camp uh, campaign is working? So if you guys are looking at the campaigns working, it's getting link clicks. You guys will be able to see if you know uh, the, it's working. So you guys can go to your ads manager. Uh, you guys can see the link clicks as well, right? So you guys go to the campaigns here. Sorry, and you guys can be able to see like the link clicks. Like all the statistics are here. You'll be able to see link clicks. So if people are clicking the link. You guys will be able to see that, uh, and it's pretty easy to see that. Just go to the campaigns. You can see link clicks. That means your ad is working. Okay. Now the next question is. Uh, what should I expect if you're running retargeting ads, guys? If you're retargeting ads to a video sales letter funnel, which I showed you guys today, you have some very high quality, hot leads sitting in your CRM. Now, they may or may not book a call with you, like I said, but a small, a small percentage of them might. But the thing is, like, if you're, you still need to call your leads, 
You still need to email your leads. You still need to, you know, the best agents, the ones that I work with, the ones that do hundreds and hundreds of thousand dollars of GCI per year, they are phone rock stars. And I'm talking about like, they'll call a lead and they really will, uh, you know, they'll get them in for in-person appointments, even without like the retargeting stuff I talked to today. So what's going to happen is you're calling your leads, you're texting your leads, you're following up. Maybe your ISC team is doing it. Maybe you're a team leader broker watching this right now and your agents are following up. They're going to start having people saying, hey, I actually watch your guys' video. I've been seeing your guys' ad every single day. It's, I can't get rid of it, but I watched the video and it's really informative. Like, that's when you know that this is working, right? Like, that's when you know like this is like, coming together. So um, what's the best website or landing page to drive to? Like I said, guys, drive them to a video sales letter funnel, right? The funnel contains a simple video sales letter on landing page, which is then redirected to a booking page, which then contains a calendar book call. This is going to yield the highest return on your investment. Uh, and do you guys recommend sending leads back to your IDX website? I know a lot of companies, they do the lead gen ads, and they retarget them to come back to the IDX website. Uh, you can send them to the IDX website. Let's just say like you're running a list of homes ad and you're got on the phone, or you're texting them, it's like a lead magnet and you want to give them a list of homes. Uh, you should not run ads to IDX website because you're competing with Zillow, right? Um, you want to make sure you send them, the IDX website still has a place, it still has a use case there. Usually that use case is like if you got someone on the phone and they want a list of homes or they want to have on a home search, you can send them to your IDX website. They can click through and you can also, you know, register there. But that's the only benefit of IDX website. Like you don't want to really use the IDX website as a key lead generation tool because it's not as effective because there's a lot of competition there, right? Um, how long will it take for you to set this up, guys? Uh, it can take up to an hour to set up your first retargeting ad with no prior experience. So just be prepared as well. That it might take a little bit of time, but this one hour is a fifty thousand dollar a month activity. So if you guys kind of invest one hour to make fifty thousand dollars a month commissions, I know agents that are making fifty thousand dollars a month using this strategy. Uh, you need to go ahead and invest one hour. If you don't have an hour, then it might not even be for you, right? Like, uh, as an entrepreneur, you should got to be prepared to work 10, 12, 14, 16 hours a day, right? And that's what you signed up for. So be prepared to put in that time, right? And can you guys set this up for me? We can help set you guys this up. Uh, like we can help you guys give all you know all the all the resources and everything, and teach you guys how to set this up and all that kind of stuff at generationleads.com. So, a couple of options, guys. You guys can configure it yourself, right? You can actually set this up yourself. You can go back to this video. I try to make this easy as possible for you guys today, uh, but it will take time and energy as well, and you might be doing it wrong, right? So you actually might even have a database. You might not even have a database, or you may not be managing it properly. Uh, your inside sales process could be wrong. So what I mean by that is maybe. Like the retargeting ads is nice, right? But it's not gonna like you know, it's not gonna get you all the points in the world. You just gotta be calling the lead. So your your scripts might be wrong, your text message scripts might be wrong, your email drift might be wrong, your database blast might be wrong. You might not have the good ideas to do that because that's a big part of this retargeting process. They also they go hand in hand, right? Um, even my own sales team, like we have a sales team of fifty plus people at generationleads.com, and the same thing happens. Like the retargeting ads get some bookings. But a lot of the bookings come from our inside salespeople that call up the leads that come in. And the leads will be like, yeah, I saw your training. Uh, and then they'll go ahead and book in, right? So that's why it's important uh, to always have that. So you guys might, you guys actually might be doing that incorrectly. At the same time, guys, like, uh, if you do this incorrectly, like, it's a, it's a big opportunity cause. Like, you might just give up on it. And it's such a high-yielding activity that agents are doing this and making a lot of money. Um, the people that, you know, you just give up and you do it incorrectly, it could be a really big hindrance, right? So... Uh, there's a lot of room for error. And the time spent trying to do this yourself, guys, it could easily cost you guys thousands of dollars commissions, right? I've seen agents do it all wrong and just blast away thousands of dollars in ads. So other things you guys can work with generating leads, right? Uh, you can work with us. It'll probably be the fastest path to seeing results when we're targeting ads, right? Uh, you have leads reaching out to you, asking for your availability, right? Uh, first of all, we're going to teach you how the inside sales, how that works, setting up advertising, show you guys the exact process that uh, you know hundreds and hundreds of clients have been using uh, to go ahead and you know uh, go to their real estate business online, right? So uh, best part is, guys, that uh, these are your typically higher uh, paying dream clients that really don't ask you to discount your commissions. So people that watch this kind of content, that watch your video sales letter, they're bought into you. And to give you guys a live example of what I really mean here is this. Like, you look at someone like Jamil, he's on that video sales letter, right? Uh, he talks about, like, why you should work with me, right? Like, what are my guarantees? Uh, you know, wh why should you work with me? Uh, what have I done in my case studies and everything? Like, you're, you're, have a, you're on a pedestal, right? Uh, same thing like someone like John, right? He has all these case studies and also John like as well. Like at the end, he talks about like, you know, what are you going to get by working with me, right? Like it's our guarantees. Like this is what you get. You're going to get our network, right? Uh, and he really puts himself. And this is a fact that you're on video on the internet. It's going to make you seem like a celebrity, right? Like you're seeing your ad every single day. It's going to make you seem like a celebrity, right? 
So that's why this is so important. Um, we can help you set that all up, right? So more case studies, right, guys? You guys can go to generateagentleads.com. Like I said, uh, we have a lot of case studies, and you guys can see all of them and read into them. Uh, and uh, again, these agents are busy, guys. I know you guys you know, want to reach out to them on my phone call. We try to make this easy as possible. We're not going to try to lie here, right, on these case studies. These are real people. They agree to be on the website. Um, we have a lot of people that are also closing deals that are not on the website. But um, again, like what we recommend is just book a call, speak to one of our uh, you know, team members that will go ahead and uh, educate you on our process, how it works, our thesis, uh, and you can get a price, right? But we have a lot of case studies that we help, right? And uh, I know sometimes it can get hard, right? Because working with us is not cheap. But uh, again, like there's a lot of case studies that really try to make it as easy as possible for us, for future prospective customers to come in and work with our team. All right, guys. So uh, you can see like Audrey got a 21X ROI. Sewage closed additional two deals in 30 days. Sanford closed the first deal in 30 days. Rajani closed first deal in 30, less than 30 days. Rob got his first deal in less than 30 days. Clifton got a lead in contract in seven days. Carly actually got her first deal in 60 days. Uh, a lot of times it might just seem like, oh, one deal or two deals. Guys, this is the, the way you want to look at this is a return of investment, right? Because a lot of times these agents, uh, they only spend like $10 a day, right? We also have some agents that spend 500 bucks a day on advertising, right? So uh, that's like $15,000 a month. Uh, and just gonna understand that uh, there are levels to it, and uh, you can really start to ramp up your business if you get get this uh, correctly, right? So, guys, if you guys are interested and you guys want to learn how to earn, you know, 200k GCI, 300k GCI, or even more than that, uh, go ahead and book a call and schedule a call at generateagentleads.com. Just hit get a price, and you guys can schedule a call. But again, um, I just thought I'd share with you guys this because I want everyone watching this to be successful, right? So, go ahead and rewind this video if you guys need. Uh, hopefully you guys found some value from this. Again, we try to make it as easy as possible for this video. Give you guys a lot of examples of what's already working. Uh, and if you guys need help, just go to generationleads.com and get a price and we will be more than happy to help guys. It was a pleasure talking to you guys today and hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. See you guys.